Praise the Lord, everyone. We are so excited to give you another Bible lesson today. Slava Gospodu svima. Veľmi sme uzbudení, že ponovo môžeme uh, preko biblické lekcie byť zajedno. Today we're going to speak about how God will protect his own people or his own church. Danas ćemo govoriti o tome kako uh, će Bog uh, sačuvati svoj narod, uh, svoju crkvu. We're going to be speaking and focusing on Acts chapter 5 and verse 1 through 11. Danas ćemo se fokusirati na dela peta glava od prvoga do jedanaestoga stiha. Before we read this text, I'm going to open with a word of prayer. Ali pre nego što počnemo čitati ovaj tekst, započet ćemo sa molitvom. Lord, we thank you for who you are and how you have used your word to give us direction in our life. Gospode, zahvalni smo ti zbog onoga što ti jesi i kako upotrebljavaš svoju reč kako bi nas uputio u životu. Today we ask that you would give us insight, understanding into this particular story from the book of Acts. Danas te molimo da nam daš razumevanje u ovaj pročitani tekst, odnosno u ovu priču. We ask that everyone who is watching or listening to this would understand just how much you care for your people. Molimo da svako ko ovo sluša i gleda uh, razume i shvati kako se ti staraš uh, za svoj narod. So we ask that you would Help us to speak clearly and help us to hear what you want us to hear in Jesus' name. Amen. Molimo te da nam pomogneš da veoma i razgovetno i jasno govorimo i da isto tako i razumemo i molimo te to u imenu Isus. Amen. I'm going to begin by reading the first 11 verses of Acts chapter 5 in English and then Pastor you will read it in Serbian. Početju da čitam iz ovog petog poglavlja prvih 11 stihova na engleskom, a onda pastore ti ćeš pročitati na srpskom. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira his wife sold a possession and he kept back part of the proceeds, his wife also being aware of it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself? While it remained, was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not in your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but lied to God. Then Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his last breath. So great fear came upon all those who heard these things. And the young man arose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. Now about three hours later, when his wife came in, not knowing what had happened, Peter answered her, tell me whether you sold the land for so much. She said, yes, for so much. Then Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of those who buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. And immediately she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. And the young men came in and found her dead, and carried her out, and buried her by her husband. So great fear came upon all the church and upon all who heard <laughs> these things. A neki čovek po imenu Anania sa svojom ženom Safirom Prodade imanje, pa sa ženinim znanjem zadrža deo novca za sebe, a ostatak donese i položi apostolima pred noge. Tada mu Petar reče, Anania, zašto ti je satana ispunio srce, pa si slagao svetoga duha i zadržao deo novca od zemlje? Zar ti nije pripadala pre nego što si je prodao? A kad si je prodao, zar ti novac nije bio na raspolaganju? 
zašto si u svoje srce stavio takvo delo? Nisi slagao ljude, nego Boga. Kada je Ananija čuo ove reči, pade i izdahnu, a silan strah obuze sve koji su to čuli. Neki mladići ustadoše i uviše ga, pa ga iznesoše i sahraniše. Posle otprilike tri sata uđe i njegova žena ne znajući šta se dogodilo. Petar je upita, reci mi, da li ste zemlju prodali za toliko i toliko? Da, odgovori ona, za toliko. Zašto ste se dogovorili da iskušate gospodnjeg duha, reče joj Petar. Gledaj, pred vratima su noge onih koji su sahranili tvog muža, a i tebe će izneti. I ona istog časa pade pred njegove noge i izdahnu. Tada uđoše oni mladići i nađoše mrtvu, pa je izneše i sahraniše pored njenog muža. A silan strah obuze svu crkvu i sve koji su to čuli. This story, really, it's very hard to read because it seems like such strong punishment for just the sin of lying. Ova priča veoma je teška za čitanje i za razumevanje, jer se izgleda da je veoma teška osuda za greh kao što je laganje. It's easy for us to read this and and wonder why would God do something this severe, this strong for something that many people do every day. Uh, veoma je teško za nas kada čitamo ovu priču da razumemo zašto je Bog tako teško osudio taj greh koji mnogi uh, tako redovno čine svakodnevno. So to really understand what this story in Acts chapter 5 is talking about, we must go back to Acts chapter 4 and read about what happened before this. Da bi razumeli ovo o čemu govorimo i o čemu smo pročitali, moramo se vratiti u četvrto poglavlje i pročitati šta se desilo prije toga. So I'd like us to read chapter 4 of Acts and verse 32 through 37. Želo bih da pročitamo iz četvrtog poglavlja od 32. do 37. stiha. Notice verse 32, the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. Verse 33, with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Nor was there anyone among them who lacked anything. For all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of these things that were sold and laid them at the apostles' feet. And they distributed to each as anyone had need. But Joseph, who also called Barnabas by the apostles, which means son of encouragement, he was a Levite of the country of Cyprus. And he had land and sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Čitamo od 32. stiha. Svi koji su poverovali bili su jedno srce i dušo. Niko nije govorio da je nešto od njegove imovine, samo njegovo, nego im je sve bilo zajedničko. Apostoli su sa velikom silom svedočili o vaskrsenju gospoda Isusa i velika milost bila je nad svima njima. Niko od njih nije oskudevao, jer svi koji su posjedovali zemlju ili kuće, prodavali su ih i donosili novac od prodaje, pa ga stavljali apostolima pred noge. Od toga se onda svakom davalo onoliko koliko mu je trebalo. I Josif, levit rodom Kipranin, koga su apostoli prozvali Varnava, što znači sin utehe, prodade njivu koju je imao, a novac donese i stavi ga apostolima pred noge. So we see what is happening. The, after the Holy Spirit was poured out, the church got together and they uh, took care of each other. 
Vidimo šta se desilo nakon što se izlio sveti duh u crkvi, svi su bili zajedno i starali se jedni o drugima. Remember in Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Spirit was first given, there were people that were gathered from every nation on the earth. Setimo se iz drugog poglavlja, kada je Sveti Duh bio izliven, ljudi su se okupili uh, iz svakog jezika i naroda. So this is the beginning of the early church, the first church, and it began here in Jerusalem. Ovo je dakle početak uh, crkve na zemlji i uh, ona je počela u Jerusalimu. Now, Many of these people did not go back to their countries, but they stayed in Jerusalem and they did not have very many things. Mnogi ljudi se nisu vratili u svoje zemlje, nego su ostali u Jerusalimu, a nisu posjedovali puno stvari. So we see one of the results of the, the people being filled with the Holy Spirit was their generosity, their grace and giving to those that had needs. Prva stvar koju vidimo kao rezultat ispunjenja Svetoga Duha, to je da su ljudi bili darežljive ruke, odnosno sa svime su se delili sa ostalima. It says all the believers were of one mind. They all believed the same. This is what is good to do. Kaže se da su svi bili jednomisleni, jednim duhom i uh, uh, ovo je veoma dobro uh, kao rezultat Svetog Duha. And they did not say we have some things that are only for me, but we, everything we have we want to share it with the others. Oni nisu govorili uh, postoje određene stvari koje su samo za mene, nego su te stvari uh, dragovoljno delili sa drugima. Chapter 4 ends by introducing us, telling us about a man named Barnabas, which we will talk about later in our study of Acts. Uh, četvrto poglavlje završava i uh, na neki način uvodi nas u osobu imenom uh, Varnava, a o njemu ćemo govoriti malo kasnije. It says that Barnabas was uh, an owner of property of land and he sold that so he can give the money to the church, the people in the church. Zavarna mu piše da je posjedovao zemlju i on je prodao tu zemlju i doneo je pred noge apostola, da, pred crkvu. Now we see in chapter 5 that the man Ananias saw the respect that Barnabas gained, so he wanted that same respect. U početku petog poglavlja Anania, o njemu se kaže da kada je on video kakav respekt i uvažavanje imaju ljudi prema Varnavi i on je želeo isti respekt za sebe. And the scripture says that he sold a piece of land but he gave only a portion, only a part of the money to the apostles, to the church. I za njega se kaže da je prodao zemlju, ali uh, nije predao sam novac, nego deo novca je zadržao za sebe. I believe this, the sin of this man was not that he kept the money, but that he wanted people to think that he gave all of the money. Greh ovog čoveka, po mom mišljenju, nije bio što je on zadržao deo novca, nego što je želeo da ostavi utisak na sve ljude da je sam novac predao. His sin was in that he was being dishonest. He was hiding the truth from the early church. Njegov greh je bio što je bio nepošten, što je on uh, sačuvao uh, i nije izneo celu istinu pred crkvom. What is very interesting to me is the same word that is used for Ananias keeping back a portion is only used one other time in the Bible. 
Ono što je za mene interesantno, da taj izraz da je zadržao deo novca za sebe, još jedan put je bio upotrebljen u Bibliji. We read the same word or the same problem in the book of Joshua, chapter 7. O istom problemu, o istoj reči nalazimo u Jozuinom poglavlju sedme glave. Now, instead of reading all of Joshua chapter 7, let me just explain what happened in that story. Umesto da pročitamo celo sedmo poglavlje, uh, ja ću samo ukratko objasniti o čemu se tu radi. In the book of Joshua, the people of God are going to go into the promised land after being in the desert for many years. U Jošujnoj knjizi narod izraelski posle mnogo godina što je proveo u pustinji sada je pred ulaskom u obećanu zemlju. The first problem they face in entering the promised land is the city of Jericho. Prvi problem na koji su naišli pre nego što uđu u obećanu zemlju jeste grad Jerihon. Now God gives them a great miracle of defeating the city by taking down the walls of the city and they are able to conquer that city. Bog im je dao čudo da bi mogli da pobede ovaj grad s time što, se, što, što su se zidene srušile i oni su mogli osvojiti ovaj grad. But the Lord had told the people you are not to take anything from the city of Jericho. No gold, no silver, no clothes, nothing. Ali Bog je rekao, kada osvojite ovaj grad, ništa ne, mož, ne smete zadržati za sebe. Niti odeću, niti srebro, niti zlato. But there was a man named Achan who did not listen to the words of God and he secretly took some of the gold and silver from the city of Jericho. Ali čovjek po imenu Ahan bio je uh, tajno odlučio da uh, zadrži za sebe neke stvari uh, od srebra, zlata i odeće. And because of the sin of Achan, the entire nation of Israel was not allowed to go forward into the promises of God. Zbog tog Ahanovog greha, čitav narod izraelski nije mogao da ide dalje u osvajanje obećane zemlje. Because of his sin of hiding the truth of what he did, Israel was defeated by their enemy. Zbog toga što je on uh, sakrio tu istinu uh, pred narodom, uh, narod Boži je trpeo poraz od svojih neprijatelja. God had to judge the sin of Achan very severely and reveal what he had done to the leaders of Israel. Bog je morao uh, veoma teško da kazni ovaj uh, greh i da ga objavi pred uh, celim narodom izraelskim i pred vođama. God also dealt with Achan very strongly and he was actually killed because of his sin. Bog je takođe veoma uh, teško uh, osudio ovog Ahana i Ahan je morao biti ubijen zbog njegovog greha. And so here in Acts chapter 5 we read a very similar story. The people of God, the new church, are about to go into the promises of God. I evo u uh, delima pete glave čitamo nešto slično. Narod Boži sada kao crkva treba da uđe u obećanja Božja. The early church was persecuted. They were attacked from the outside, but that did not stop the move of God. Prva crkva je izvana bila progonjena i napadana, ali to nije moglo da zaustavi delovanje Božje. So now Satan attacks from the inside and tries to bring deceit and sin inside the church. Sada Sotona pokušava unutar crkve da dovede uh, i prevaru i da napadne crkvu iznutra. 
just as God had to give strong punishment to protect his people in Joshua 7, he has to do the same in Acts chapter 5. Isto kao što je Bog morao da sačuva svoj narod u Jošujinoj knjizi sedmog poglavlja, isto tako Bog čuva svoj narod u delima pete glave. If God had not dealt strongly with the sin of Ananias and his wife, it might have corrupted or stopped the church at the very beginning. Ako Bog ne bi zaustavio taj greh Ananije i Safire, uh, on, uh, njegov narod bi bio korumpiran veoma ubrzo i zbog toga je Bog tako delovao. So in verse 3 and 4 of chapter 5 of Acts, Peter confronts Ananias with the truth. He tells him what he has done. U trećem i četvrtom stihu ovog petog poglavlja, Petar uh, je konfrontirao Ananije, uh, Ananiju sa tim grehom koji je on učinio. Peter tells him, he said, why has Satan filled your heart to lie unto God? Petar ga je konfrontirao i rekao mu, zašto te Sotona prevario da lažeš uh, um, Boga i njegovu crkvu? God gave Peter supernatural knowledge, understanding of what Ananias had done. Bog je dao nadprirodno razumevanje Petru o onome što je Anania učinio. This is um, a spiritual gift that's mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Ovo je duhovan dar koji je spomenut u prvoj Korinčanima 12. poglavlju. So Peter was using the, the word of knowledge, the spiritual gift, to confront Ananias with his sin. Petar je upotrebio reč znanja, uh, jedan duhovan dar, kako bi uh, obznanio ovaj Ananijev greh. And now Ananias was expecting praise and for all the people to honor him for what he had done, but now he received rebuke from Peter. Umesto, kao što je očekivao Ananije, da ga ljudi hvale i da ima uh, obožavanje od strane ljudi, on je od strane Petra dobio ukor. So we see the motive or the reason for Ananias wanting to give money. He wanted people to see what he was doing, good works. Uh, motiv koji je Anania imao u srcu je da ljude vide uh, šta je on uradio. And uh, it's very strong punishment that he receives because he is doing it for the wrong reasons. Ali dobio je tešku osudu zbog toga što je te stvari radio uh, uh, pogrešnim motivima. God wanted the people to know that he was not going to allow his church, his people, to be stopped because of the sin of one person. Bog je želeo da narod zna da uh, Bog neće dozvoliti da se zaustavi njegovo delovanje među narodom zbog greha jednog čoveka. Peter did not say, Ananias, you have lied to me or you have lied to people. He said, you have lied to the Holy Spirit. Petar nije rekao, ti si lagao ljudima, ti si lagao meni, nego si lagao svetome duhu. And then Peter said, you know, Ananias, you were free to do what you wanted with it. Uh, your sin is not holding money to yourself. Your sin is telling us that you gave all. Petar kaže Anani, uh, ti uh, tvoj greh nije uh, to, to je bio tvoj novac i ti si mogao s njim raditi šta god hoćeš. Uh, dakle tvoj greh nije zbog toga što si zadržao novac, nego si želeo da ostaviš utisak da je to sav novac koji ti predaješ. Ananias wanted the people to think that he was more spiritual, he was more godly than he really was. Anania je želeo da narod misli da je on duhovniji nego što u uh, istini i uh, da je bio. 
Brothers and sisters, we must be careful that we do not do the same sin of Ananias or Sapphira. Braćo i sestre, moramo biti pažljivi da i mi ne uradimo sličan greh kao što su Ananije i Safira uradili. We know that we, we, need to, uh, we need to pray every day. We need to read our Bible. We need to do good things for God. Mi znamo da trebamo se i moliti i čitati Božju reč svaki dan i činiti dobra dela. But we also know that we are very busy in this life and there are sometimes when we just don't have the do not have the time to to pray every day or read our bible do these things. Ali u isto vrijeme znamo da smo veoma zauzeti i da ne možemo baš svaki dan e, i to da ispunimo da čitamo Božju reč i da se molimo tako redovno. It's important that we do not let people think that we are more spiritual than we actually are. I moramo biti pažljivi da ne ostavimo utisak pred ljudima da smo duhovniji nego što u stvarnosti jesmo. Their sin was uh, because of that pride that they had. They wanted people to believe that they were very holy people. Njihov greh je bio uh, njihova oholost uh, zbog toga što su želeli da ostave utisak da su oni uh, duhovni nego što u stvarnosti su bili. Sometimes we do the same things. We want people to think that we're more godly, but actually we're just human like everyone else. Često puta i mi želimo da ostavimo takav utisak da smo previše pobožni dok u stvari smo samo obični ljudi. So always be honest before God and before your brothers and sisters and let them know that you are a real person. Uvijek budi pošten, iskren i ostavi takav utisak pred Bogom i pred ljudima. Peter said this money was yours to do what you wanted with. The sin that you're guilty of was not necessary for you to do. Petar je rekao, ovo je bio tvoj novac i mogao si s njim raditi šta god hoćeš i nije, ovaj greh nije ti bio potreban. Peter wanted him to know and all the people to know that it was because of pride. It was because of the reason of wanting people to think better of him that he did this thing. Petar je želeo to da o, o, obznani pred ljudima da je to sve bilo zbog oholosti uh, da je on uradio taj uh, greh. So Peter says, yes, Satan has filled your heart, but you, Ananias, have conceived or come up with this plan. Petar kaže, uh, Sotona te je prevario, ali ti si, Ananije, došao sa ovim planom. So Satan cannot Satan can influence he can give you the thoughts and ideas to sin but he cannot commit the sin for you. Sotona te može uh, nagnati da i dati ti ideje i, i možda misao da uradiš neku stvar ali ne može on uh, tu stvar uh, uraditi umjesto tebe dakle on ne može sagrešiti umjesto tebe. We are responsible for our actions and we cannot say well Satan made me do it we are responsible Mi smo odgovorni za svoja delovanja uh, ne možemo se uh, izgovoriti na Sotonu on me na to naterao Now we find that Ananias falls down dead when Peter tells him what he has done Pročitali smo da je Ananija pao mrtav uh, ka, kada je Petar obznanio šta je on uradio. Again, we have to understand where the early church was when Ananias did what he did. Ponovo uh, kažem, moramo shvatiti gde je crkva bila uh, kada je Ananija uradio ono što je uradio. The church of God was at a very important place in history and if sin could enter into that church it could stop the move of God right at the beginning. 
Božja crkva je bila na mestu istorijskom za nju i ako bi Sotona preko greha ušao u nju, on je mogao zaustaviti delovanje Božje dare. Understand that the church of God, the move of God, has never been stopped by outside persecution or attacks upon it. Moramo shvatiti da svaki put kad je crkva izvana bila napadana, to nije moglo zaustaviti Božje delovanje u njoj. In fact, when we're going to find in the book of Acts, and also even today, when the church is persecuted, when they are attacked, it makes the work of God grow even stronger. Ali to možemo pronaći u prvoj crkvi, a čak i dan danas, kada je crkva napadana izvana, Božje delovanje unutarnje samo raste i raznožava se. So we read in verse 11 that as a result of what happened to this married couple, great fear came upon all the people who heard what happened. U 11. stihu smo pročitali da kada su ljudi videli šta se desilo ovom bračnom paru, veliki strah je došao na crkvu. So even sin inside the church did not stop the move of God. Čak i greh unutar crkve nije mogao da zaustavi delovanje Božje. It was because... God protected his church. He protected his people from attacks from the outside, but also from sin on the inside. To je isto zbog toga što je Bog sačuvao svoj narod i kada je crkva bila izvana napadnuta, ali i kada je crkva iznutra bila napadnuta. Now I want to apply this story to where we live today, wherever you are, Today, what does this mean for us? Želim da ovo primenim na svakog jednog od nas, na tebe i mene, gde mi danas živimo. Šta to za nas znači? Can you imagine if this happened in one of our churches today? Somebody lied to the Holy Spirit and they were killed. They, would, they died right at the church service. Možete li zamisliti kako bi to bilo u nekim našim crkvama kada bi neko, ako bi lagao duhu svetom, odjedan put pa omrtao? I think, no matter where you are, I think we would probably try to hide what has happened so that the public, the media, the news would not understand, not know what had happened. Predpostavljam da bi možda želeli to da prikrijemo ili da prećutimo da medije ili ljudi izvana ne bi o tim stvarima saznali. But we need to understand how God operates when he exposes sin in the church. It's because he wants to do something great and powerful in that church. Ali mi moramo da shvatimo kada Bog otkrije, razotkrije greh unutar crkve, On u stvari želi da uradi nešto silno u toj crkvi. Because in this case, when God revealed the sin and he punished the sinner, great things were the result of what happened. Jer kada je Bog u ovom slučaju kaznio grešnika i razotkrio greh, velike stvari su se desile unutar crkve. Maybe we do not understand fully what it means to have revival. When we pray for revival, God send a great growth in the church, great things in the church. Možda u potpunosti ne shvaćamo što to znači probuđenje, jer kada Bog probudi crkvu, On šale velike stvari toj crkvi. So we pray, Lord, I want you to send many people into your, into your church. I want you to do great miracles inside of your church. Možda se molimo, Gospode, želim da pošaleš puno ljudi u tvoju crkvu i da činiš čudesa i velike stvari u tvojoj crkvi. And in answer to our prayer, God reveals sin that may be present, and then He deals with that. He He judges that very strongly. 
i kao rezultat Bog od razotkrije greh unutar crkve i uh, osudi taj greh. But after the judgment comes the revival, it comes the miracle and there comes the growth. Ali posle osude dolazi probuđenje, dolaze čudesa, dolazi rast. Verse number 12 tells us that great miracles and signs and wonders were done as a result of this sin that God dealt with. 12. stih nam govori da su velika čudesa počeli da se dešavaju u narodu kao rezultat razotkrivanja ovog greha. In fact, let me read verse 12 through 16. Hajde da pročitam od 12. do 16. stiha. And through the hands of the apostles many signs and wonders were done among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Yet none of the rest dared to join them, but the people esteemed them highly. And believers were increasingly added to the Lord multitudes both of women and, and men so that they brought the sick out into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might fall on some of them. Also a multitude gathered from surrounding cities to Jerusalem bringing sick people and those who were tormented by unclean spirits and they were all healed. Čitam od 12. stiha. Apostoli su činili mnoga znamenja i čuda u narodu. Svi su se jednodušno okupljali u Solomonovom tremu. Niko drugi nije se usuđivao da im se pridruži, ali ih je narod veoma hvalio. Broj muškaraca i žena koji su poverovali u gospoda bivao je sve veći, pa su iznosili bolesne na ulice i stavljali ih na postelje i prostirke, ne bili kada Petar najđe, bar njegova senka pala na nekog od njih. I, a nagrnuše i mnogi iz gradova oko Jerusalima, pa su donosili bolesne i one koji su mučili nečisti duhovi i svi su bili izlečeni. You would think that because of Satan attacking the church from within that it would stop the move of God. Možda bi pomislio zbog toga što je Sotona napao crkvu iznutra da će to zaustaviti delovanje Božje. But instead of stopping the move of God it actually made it stronger and stronger and many great things were done. Ali umjesto da zaustavi delovanje Božje, delovanje Božje je bilo snažnije i sve snažnije i raslo je među narodom. Many powerful miracles were done, many people were healed and many people were added to the church. Mnogi ljudi su bili isceljeni, velika čuda su se dešavala i mnogi su bili pridodati crkvi. But something else very powerful happened. It says that they, the people were now again with one mind and one accord. They were brought back together. Ali još jedna velika stvar se desila, kaže, da su ponovo bili jednomisl, jednomisleni, jednodušni i svi su bili uh, sjedinjeni. It's amazing to me that the, the scripture says that the Many, many people were added to the Lord, not to the church, not to people, but they were added to the Lord. I ono što me uh, pozitivno užasava, to je da uh, čitam da su ljudi bili pridotati gospodu, ne kaže bili su pridodati crkvi ili narodu, nego pridodati gospodu. There were thousands and thousands of people that were added to the Lord, became believers in Jesus because of what happened. Na hiljada i hiljada je bilo je pridodato gospodu zbog toga što se desilo i oni su služili Isusu. So, brothers and sisters, I want you to know, no matter what Satan tries to do to stop the move of God, he cannot stop what God wants to do in your life. Braćo i sestre, želim da znate, bez obzira kako se Sotona trudio da zaustavi delovanje Božje, on ne može da zaustavi Boga niti njegovo delovanje u tvom životu. We're going to stop there in our lesson for today, but I just want you to understand 
that God will protect his people. Ovdje ćemo se zaustaviti u ovoj lekciji danas, ali želim da shvatite da, Bog, da će Bog uraditi sve da bi sačuvao svoj narod. There is no weapon, there is nothing that Satan can bring against the church of God that will stop what God is doing. Nema oružja, nema uh, ništa što Sotona može da donese kako bi uh, Božje delovanje zaustavio u svom narodu. If this is true in the book of Joshua and the book of Acts, it is true for you today. Ako je ovo istina u Jošujinoj knjizi i u delima apostolskim, ovo je istina i u tvom životu danas. If God reveals something in your life that is not holy, that is not right, thank Him for revealing that to you so you can fix that in your life. Ako Bog otkrije tebi u tvom životu nešto što nije ispravno, budi mu zahvalan jer On uh, želi da te blagoslovi. If God is dealing with your church about hidden sin, thank Him for doing that because He's going to do great things in the future. Ako Bog otkriva greh u tvojoj crkvi, zahvali Mu jer On se sprema da uradi velike stvari u tvojoj crkvi. It's time for us as the church of God to move forward into the great things that God has planned. Kao crkva za nas je došlo vreme da idemo samo napred u ono što je Bog pripremio za nas. Let's pray together. Molimo se zajedno. Lord, we thank you again for your word that pierces even to the innermost part of our life. Gospode, hvala ti za tvoju reč koja nas uh, probada sve do unutrašnjeg našeg bića. There is nothing that we can hide from you and so we need to be honest with you first of all. Ne možemo ništa pred tobom sakriti i zato želimo da budemo pošteni i iskreni pred tobom. Today we pray the prayer of David, search me and know my heart, try me and know my thoughts. Želimo da molimo Davidovu molitvu, istraži mojega srca i mojega duha i moje misli. Create in me a, a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a right spirit within me. Stvori mi čisto srce i daj mi ispravnoga duha u mojoj nutrini. See if there be any wicked way in me and lead me into the everlasting way. Vidi da li ima uh, pogrešan trag u mom životu i vodi me uh, stazama večnosti. Help us, oh God, to be clean and holy before you, before you can do a great work in our lives. Pomogni nam da budemo čisti i sveti pred tobom i da možeš upotrebiti naše živote. And if you do reveal something that is not right in our life, help us to have the courage to change that and repent of our sin. Ako nam i otkriješ nešto što nije ispravno u našem životu, daj nam hrabrosti i snage da možemo to uh, ispraviti i pokajati se. We thank you for speaking to our hearts today. We pray in Jesus name. Amen. Hvala ti što si nam govorio u naša srca i molimo i zahvaljujemo u imenu Isus. Amen. Jesus bless you brothers and sisters. Please share this with somebody else to help them today. Neka vas Isus blagoslovi braću i sestre sve danas i delite, šerujte ovo, neka to pomogne mnogima.